Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com, and it's time for another Squarespace rapid fire website critique where I take one of your websites and give it a critique a critiquerson. Quick note if you are on YouTube and you haven't subscribed or you already have, did you know down below next to the subscribe button there's a bell? And the bell means that if you click it, you can add a notification so that you're notified when my videos go live. I would appreciate it if you'd like to know when my videos go live that you hit that bell and go ahead and get that notification. So here's the Squarespace website. This one is built in Squarespace. It's Caleb Photos. Now, this is the first place that the website takes you, and it's it's not, in my opinion, a good photo that I would choose in this case. So this is not the photo that I personally would choose to put on as the first image that somebody sees coming to my website. Why? And being brutally honest, well, and I don't even need to be brutal with it, you can just see, that it's, it's a silhouetted image, and I didn't even know who it was, and then I saw the S for Shinedown, I was like, oh, it's Brent Smith of Shinedown, and here's what I think happened. I think the photographer was shooting with aperture priority, and then the lights in the background got all messed up with the meter, thus giving you a silhouette image, and this wouldn't be how I would represent my work coming right into it the first time. So let's keep going. Another silhouette shot this time, it's Lindsay Sterling. She's a really good artist, uh, big YouTuber, and got really, really good. Now, if I wanna see the rest of them, what's awesome is the Squarespace lets me go ahead and click down there in the bottom so I can go through all the images as thumbnails. I love the fact, <coughs> excuse me. I love the fact that your images can be huge across the screen. I love the fact that Squarespace lets you do that, and on top of that, that it is a fully responsive website. So if you scroll, scroll like this, you move the website, the image is going to change size depending on the size of screen you have. Fully responsive, if your website doesn't do that, I highly recommend that you do find a website that does go ahead and do that. Let's click on sports and see what we have. Sports! We got baseball. I'm going through to the next one. Going back to that one. So these look good. Let's see what else we have in here. We got some football shots, I think. Uh, soccer. Now, now, in terms of a soccer shot, you do not want to cut off a subject like this. I'll put in a little bit of critique, critique right here. You got to get the ball in there. I, in sports, it's great. I mean, yes, the emotions are there when you get the running stuff. But the ball has to be in there for a shot like this. You can't cut people off at the feet like that. That just doesn't do it. And I also noticed it. Here with the pitcher, it's like the composition is, yeah, I love the bokeh, I love the fact that it's blown out, but chopping him off at the knees or right under the knees doesn't work in, in this case. I see one vertical out of all this. A lot of these, and, 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 you gotta make sure that the, the, you're, you're level here. This is not level ground. You should be level, because the image is, I mean, we know the ground is super level. Um, so that's that, let's click on about me. About me, I am Caleb Loundies. I'm a concert and sports photographer based in, uh, based of, based of, I'm sure he meant to say based out of Kentucky, but cover the entire tri-state area. When I'm not covering concerts, I'm shooting local and division one college sports for my local paper, that's a lot of locals, uh, for uh, a local paper with my friend and mentor, Steve Canisola, it's a phenomenal. Oh, there needs to be a space in there, phenomenal sports photographer. Previous clients have included Eric Vazart, Mike Howard of Seventh Time Down, Alisa Turner, and People of the Earth. Want to work with me? Question mark, phone number, email? I'll call him later. Here's my input for the About Me page. Um, first, get rid of the background photo that's there because I believe that's the stock image that Squarespace gives you when you build your website. Uh, I like that you talk about a mentor, which leads me to believe that's maybe a younger photographer. So please do not take this as me being angry or harsh. Or, no, I am being harsh. Do not take it as me yelling at you in a bad way. I'm trying to give corrective criticism or constructive criticism as a mentor or something along those lines. Now, I wouldn't list those previous clients because nobody's ever, I've never heard of them. I don't think it's a big deal. Let your work speak for itself. That's what I would concentrate on. I would like to see an image of you out there shooting a concert or a sporting event or something that's gonna show me that, yeah, you were there getting those images. And I would not say, want to work with me, question mark. I would say, I would love to work with you how can I capture whatever it is you're looking for? Gotta come up with the words for that. I mean, that's what we have to come up with, but I wouldn't be like, want to work with me? I mean, that's almost saying, please, please, will you work with me? Pretty please with the cherry on top. So just changing the words to, 
I would love to work with you. Please contact me if there's something I can do to better assist you. Something like that, just making that up along the way. One more thing down here says schedule. I like that this is a pretty simple website and there is nothing on the schedule page, which means this shouldn't be here. And I don't know why a schedule page would be there in the first place. Uh, get rid of it. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's see what we've got on this Instagram. Sports, sports, sports. Ooh, Lindsey Sterling, hello. She's like, I'm going to give you that. Same, same type of photos. Shooting way too tight, man. Way too tight. I'll give you a follow. But he's shooting way too tight. I'm noticing that looking at some of those music shots again. Um, let's see. Where, what's Yeah, cutting the feet off. Can't cut the feet off. I know it's probably a limitation of the lens and where you were at that case. But you just have to be careful not to do that type of stuff. And I would not lead with this photo. I wouldn't even have this photo in my portfolio. I would get rid of it and change it up for something like the Lindsey Sterling. Uh, and even something along these lines is a better option uh, for putting. I mean, this is this, actually, again, this isn't a good one either. You got to be shooting an aperture priority if you're metering for this right here. I mean, that to me feels like what's going on when you're doing this. So simple, simple, simple website. There is nothing wrong with a simple website. That's why I love Squarespace for that. This is my square. This is the plug part. If you want to tune out, tune out. If you want to stay here, just listen to me for a second. I use Squarespace. I guarantee you, you can build a website in 30 minutes or less that has everything that you need at the very beginning. Go to squarespace.com slash fro to get 10% off your first order. Use that. $12 a month, by the way, uh, up the, and, and then you get your 10% off. Look at this. You want to build a website, you click on websites after you go to squarespace.com slash fro. If you want to build a business, want a portfolio, blog, musicians, whatever. If you're building a portfolio, look at all these options you can choose from right off the rip. That's why I guarantee you that you can build your own personal space on Squarespace in almost no time flat. Now, I recommend them because I've been using them for the last couple of years and then use them prior to starting fronosphoto.com for my own other personal blog. It's just simple. It's a turnkey solution. You don't need to know HTML. You don't need to know coding. And if you do know coding, you can then use it in code injection. But I recommend it because it's simple, it's affordable, it's effective, uh, and, and that's why I use it. So. Go to squarespace.com slash fro to get a 14-day free trial to try it out for yourself. If you do find that it is for you, please use the code fro at checkout. That helps me and you get a 10% discount off your first purchase, which if you purchase for a year, you get 10% off the year. So let's wrap. I'm going to wrap it up, and then I'm going to give this kid a call and see if he answers. So thank you very much for watching the Squarespace Rapid Fire Critique. Jared Poland, Squarespace website Rapid Fire Critique. Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. See ya. While I'm making the call, please subscribe here on YouTube. Let's go back to his website. Let's find his number. We're going to click on, where was it? It was under About Me. So the About Me is here. Let's give him a call. I'm like, I shouldn't read out his name, his number, but I'm like, it's on his website. What's his name? 608-872-04. Okay, so either he put a bad number on here or something's up. 608-872-0475. If it fails again, that's terrible. I, I gotta, I gotta jump in here again. If you're gonna have a phone number on your website, it at least needs to work. I tried twice. That's not good. So please double check that you put in the right number on your website, or there's something else going on. I don't know. That's my Squarespace critique. I already ended it. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll hopefully get to call somebody again next time. So far, I'm 0 for 3 with calling people later.